I've been running this YouTube channel now for six months. Well, it's actually been longer, but since February, I've been putting a lot of effort in it. It's crazy sometimes. And if there's one thing that I've learned, it's that taking your videos, your cinematic videos, client work, YouTube videos, it doesn't matter, but taking your videos to the next level is all about the details. Those tiny little details make a huge difference. So today I want to show you how you can make any of your videos look more professional and next level. And I really want to emphasize on any of your videos, not just cinematic short films and things like that. Guys, you're all awesome. I get a lot of nice comments and you help me, I help you. It's great. But, but there are some haters out there and I don't know exactly who they are, but I have a plan for them because I know what haters love. Haters love hate, but I also know what haters hate. Haters hate love. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna love my haters because that's really gonna mess with their heads, right? Yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks for all the support. Thanks for the comments. And if you're new here, if you want to join the community, just hit that subscribe button. Okay, now let's talk about how to make your videos look next level. From here somewhere to here. Okay, so the first one is less important for the cinematicness of your videos, but it's super important for client work and also YouTube videos. It might not seem that important because it's just a detail, but it makes a huge difference, trust me. Callouts and graphics make everything look a lot more professional and you can keep it simple, but you can also take it to the next level. Let's say I want to add a callout to my finger. Not sure why I ever want to do that, but it's the easiest way to show you everything. So the first thing you can do is just add text. And if you think carefully about colors and fonts, it makes a difference already. And the next step is to add moving graphics, a real call out like this. That looks really cool, right? But it doesn't work really well when I move my finger. It's okay, but there's something missing, you know? So I think we need to take it to the pro level and add some tracking like this. Now that looks really cool, right? See how it follows my finger? Tracking. Now there are a few options here. You can either try to build something like that yourself, but that's not easy. So why not just buy a pre-made callout pack? That's also what I did. And you can always tweak them to match your style. I use a callout pack for DaVinci Resolve from jrtv.com or something like that. I don't know how to pronounce it, but the link is in the description. I have no connection with JRTV, by the way. I just like that callout pack. And it's relatively easy to install and use. There's a video included explaining everything. Now, if you're a complete beginner, then maybe learn the basics of DaVinci Resolve first, because it's easy, but also not super easy. You need to do some work yourself. So learn the basics first and then try something like this. sound often forgotten and i've talked about it before when it comes to cinematic videos and b-roll but sound design is important for all your videos not just cinematic videos also for client work and even simple talking head videos like this and that's what i haven't talked about before so don't keep the sound design just for your big cinematic projects i'll show you exactly what i mean so first of all i've noticed that a lot of people well not just people you guys also i've noticed that you guys started liking my videos more when i started paying more attention to the little sound details and the first example is simple. When you shoot an epic B-roll, a cinematic B-roll, and you shoot in slow motion, then there's no sound. So you have to add all that sound. And also music, of course. And you need all those little sound effects to make the transitions better and to just add atmosphere. The viewer has to feel like he's in the video. You know what I mean? Here's one of my epic B-rolls and I'll show you exactly every time I use the sound effect. Thank you. 
if you want to see the full sequence and the behind the scenes, I'll link it up here. But yeah, that sequence would not be the same without the sound effects. And a lot of times, finding the right sound effects takes just as long as the actual editing of the video. Okay, now even for simple videos and talking head videos like this, sound design makes a huge difference. Let's take my subscribe callout for example. It's right there and it's right there. Now let's add sound. The difference is subtle, but it makes a difference. And a lot of people will notice that. They'll notice that you pay extra attention to those details. It's an extra layer on top of your video. Another simple example is when you show text on the screen, because there's showing text, but there's also showing text. You know what I mean? And all those little sound effects throughout the video take the video to the next level. Remember that call out from before? It's a lot better with sound. I use Epidemic Sound for all my sound effects and also music because they have a ton. The link is in the description. You can try it out for free for one month, I think. So try it out. And finally, the three L's. Light, location and long position. Okay, you got me. It's composition. But the three L's sound so much better than the two L's and a C. Anyway, it's something that's easily overlooked because I've noticed that when I talk about composition, for example, a lot of people think I'm talking about photography. But all these things are just as important in photography as in filmmaking. Light, for example, don't just run outside and start shooting whenever you get an idea. Think about the light first. What light do you need? Because Waiting for just half an hour can make all the difference. The light changes and it will change the whole look and feel of your video and the story. Then location. Location scouting is a thing because location is super important. It's one of the most important things in the pre-production of pretty much every Hollywood movie. The location is the background for your story and people will notice if it doesn't match. If you need a forest for example, then don't just pick any random forest. Go in there first and find the perfect location. Also composition and light is important here. And even here in my studio, everything you see here is not just random. I build it like that to create balance. I'm in the middle, there's no distraction behind me, and then there's a light on each side. I thought about all that to create a balance within the frame. See what I mean? Balance, not just important for big cinematic projects, but also for a video like this. The three L's or two L's and a C is how you create balance within the frame. Those are your tools. And combine that with aperture and color grading and some other things and that's what makes your video look cinematic or not. Now also, just so you know, cinematic is subjective because what I find cinematic might not be cinematic for you. There's not just one cinematic look or cinematic settings. Maybe you don't like my setup here and how it looks, but that's totally fine. If you want to get better, that's also something you need to realize. Just because you don't like something doesn't mean that it's bad. Don't go tell people that what they're doing looks bad. Look at your things first, your videos. Always remember that. I think it's one of the most important things you have to realize if you want to improve your own videos. And that's it for today, guys. This is how I make my videos look more professional and next level. Some of these tips take a little bit more effort, but some are super easy to apply. And let me know what your favorite technique is to take your videos to the next level. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.